Hey there. In VCE, there are two main things that threaten a fundamentally fair system. Number one, different schools administer different SACs, even for the same subject. And number two, even if every school had the same SACs, different teachers are marking them, and some could be really stringent, whilst others could be really lenient. VCAR accounts for this by adjusting or moderating your SAC scores. An important thing to note here is that your actual level of achievement never changes. It's simply the scale of that achievement that changes. It's kind of like trying to compare the weight of Tamika, who weighs 70 kilograms, and Nathan, who weighs 145 pounds. Can we say that Nathan weighs more than Tamika just because 145 is a larger number? No, not really, because they're completely different scales. To accurately compare the two, we need to convert them onto the same scale. And that's basically what VCAR is doing with SAC results. So on a basic level, let's say your cohort for a particular subject averages about 50% on your SACs throughout the year. But then come exam time, your cohort averages 80%. They might look at that and think, well, maybe your SACs were too difficult, or maybe they were marked too harshly. So they adjust your scores or moderate them up. And the same is true for the reverse. If your cohort averages 80% throughout the year, but then averages 50% on the exam, your SAC scores might get moderated down. There's nothing unfair or unjust about this. In fact, the system exists so that you don't have to worry too much about what school you go to or the difficulty of your cohort SACs. If you want to know more about the technical side of VCE, make sure you watch our future videos in this series. All the best.